And good evening, everybody, and welcome here to Arizona Speedway for the second race of the TMS Array Diva Series, getting set to go racing after the first race at the 8 Bowl Speedway. We're here in Arizona, getting ready for the Diva Series second race of the year, as we have Hallie Parker and Nellie Fisher on the front row, Hallie Parker's first win of the seat. Or first poll of the season. Nally Fisher alongside Harley Percy and Liliana Batza in row two. There is the rest of your starting grid over here. And there is a look at your points heading into this race here today. Let's get these cars rolling off. 41 laps here in Arizona. This is a mile and a half track that's identical to Kansas Speedway. Let's give you the top 10 of the point standings presented by. Golden Corral. Kelly Boston is the points leader by five points over Trinity Lee. Ingrid Pollard, third in the standings, 10 points back. Lisa Evans, fourth. Wanda McBride rounds out your top five in fifth. Then it's June Bailey, Beatrice Campos in seventh. Lauren Grubius, eighth. Kaylee Rankin and Chrissy House complete your top 10. Of course, we're here in the Duel in the Desert. Of course, this is not um, Arizona. This is, uh, we're in the Duel in the Desert, but this is, we're going to Arizona at night. Next week, we continue our West Coast trip as we head Auto Club Speedway of Southern California for, for a fun race over there. Then it's Nashville, Texas, Richmond, our first short track race of the day. This is our first mile and a half race here. Glad you're along with us. Let's go racing diva style, boys and girls. Green flags in the air. We're racing at Arizona. Thought I'd get to do a diva race while I'm thinking about it. Arizona Speedway, a fun little mile and a half track, identical to Kansas. Also, um, yeah, it is Kansas and also identical to Las Vegas, believe it or not. As Hallie Parker will lead the first lap of the race. Hallie Parker comes into this race. 22nd in the points after a 22nd place result in the last race. That was at 8 Bowl. That was our last event we had. There's Harley Percy. She was 13th last time out. Gave me her in the 56. And there's Skylar Davidson. We've never raced at Arizona before, so this is the first of first time we're racing here in the Diva Series. Of course, we've raced here in the PCS Array side of things. Same with Pruitt's gone to second. Jillian Black is in third. Jillian Black finished 27th at 8 Bowl. That's Dakota Lee, who's in fourth. Dakota finished 21st at eight bowl. Wasn't too solid, but hey, still early in the season. Jesse Art in fifth. Jesse finished 11th at eight bowl. Check the back of the field as Hallie Parker still leads. Kaylee Rankin's back here. Number of drivers who had good runs last week or last time out at uh, April not having a good run here today. Jill Jennifer Power looks like she's got some right side damage on her 92. See Wanda McBride there. Oh, we got a crash. We got a crash on the back straightaway. There goes Wanda McBride. That's Skylar Davidson and Annie James collected. 
And our first caution of the season and of the race is out. Wanda McBride, top five in the points. Her Kleenex Scott products Chevrolet badly torn up. Annie James, who finished 36. That is not what she needed. There's Skylar Davidson. Let's take a look at a replay to see what exactly happened. Let's go to 81. It's like the 43 just bullied her. That's uh, Prudence Martindale. And then there's Skylar Davidson just hooked the chance to... Chevy of Annie James, and there's where Wanda McBride gets a piece of it. Annie James could not afford a bad finish, 36 in the points, so she's going to take a hit. On the flip side, Wanda McBride had a great race at uh, Eight Bowl. She's going to definitely take a hit in the points, and Skylar Davidson did not have a good run at at a, at, at our last race. Brenda Evelyn's coming to Pitt Road along with Jennifer Power. And unfortunately, she's going to be going to have another bad finish as expected. By telling the pace card, nope. So already some cars behind the wall after tonight. After this is we're going to go back to green flag on lap number 11 of 41 which would give us 31 laps of racing to go. Hallie Parker is the leader. Jen, uh, Jillian Black, sorry, is second. Amy Pruitt, third. Dakota Lee, fourth. Jesse Art, fifth. Sixth, Tatiana Naguera, seventh. Lu Luna Farmer. Harley Percy, eighth. Trinity Lee, ninth. And completing the top 10 is April Winters. Drivers out after that incident. That was one to McBride. And the 81 of Annie James. As I said, Annie James could not afford another D and another bad finish. So that's two bad finishes for her. Wanda McBride, on the other hand, had a great race at April. She's going to definitely take a hit in the points heading into next week's race at Auto Club. It's a break for her. Oh, Harley, or Haley Percy, sorry, has blown up. The Dr. Pepper Dodge is up in smoke. Emily Green's in it. It's on pit road. This is an unscheduled pit stop for the 37. She must have gotten in the wall or something. As Haley Percy has been put a lap down, that will end the night for her. Jillian Black will take the lead. In the 10. As the 37 has left the pit lane. So the 37 is now one lap down. 26. Of Haley Percy. Has now taken her car behind the wall. She had a piston failure on her 26. So it's up break. For the 26 team, that's Haley. Haley Percy, 38th in the points. Finished 38th last time out. Finished 38th tonight. So that is two bad finishes in a row. Emily Green, 15th in the points. After a top 15 last week, 37. So... She's no doubt going to take a hit in the points. Of course, the Diva Series are not having a chase for the championship. It's just the first driver with the most points wins the championship.
need to get this. Needed to work on Divas because I hadn't done Divas in a while. Skylar Davidson, right behind Beatrice Campos, her teammate, Jennifer Power. Let's see where Kelly Boston is, our points leader. Where is Kelly Boston? There oh, we got a crash! Kelly Boston's in it! I was going to check on the points leader. Well, so much for that. She has been collected. Harley Percy is involved. Sydney Ball, well, that was perfect. Go to the points later, and she's spinning on the back straightaway. Boyles, good job. Nina Cambridge is in it. Clara Olivera is in it. Caution is out for the second time tonight. Let's see what happened here. I was going to go check on the points later where she was at. Oh, they went four wide. That was not going to work. That was Liliana Bats at forcing it four wide. Harley Percy goes upside down, gets the 87, also the 88. That's Sydney Ball and Lauren Grubius. The zero of um, Kaylee Rankin spins. There's Kelly Boston. There's the 33 not slowing down. Runs into the Toys R Us Chevy, Chevy Monte Carlo. Sydney Ball got collected in that. Claire Oliver, a lot of damage to the payday Chevrolet. Boy. Oh, uh, Sarah Costello got a piece of it. I didn't see her collected. Well. Perfect timing to go find the points leader, only to find herself spinning. Good job, Boyles. <laughs> One to go given, 20 laps of racing to go here in this race for the Diva Series. This is their second race of the season. Drivers out from that incident, only three to be exact. And those three were Harley Percy, Sydney Ball, and Claire Olivera. Harley came into this race... As we're back to green 13th, last time out. Sydney Ball came into this race 24th on the points, so she'll definitely take a hit. And then Claire Olivera was 34th, so this was not what she needed after a disappointing result at 8 Bowl. So a tough break for them. I don't know why the kitchen light's on. I should have turned it off, but oh well, I'll worry about that later. Up, oh, Hannah Percy's in trouble, 28th in points. She is off the pace. We're still green. Let's find out where the gal that was trying to run her down for the points leader. Trendy Lee currently in 10th. She gave us race second in the points. Oh, we got another crash. Courtney Lynn, that's Dakota Lee, and there was a third car involved. That was, that's the 12. That's the Tatiana Guerra. Lot of damage to the Supercut Chevy. Let's see what happened here to Tatiana Guerra. Looks like the five. 
Courtney Lynn pushed up into the 16. Dakota Lee and just took Tatiana to the wall. Took all three in the wall. Looks like Courtney Lynn's night is going to come to an end. Gonna have the one to go signal. Tatiana Guerra, Courtney Lynn, they're both out of the race. The third car that was involved in that little incident, that was the uh, 16 continued. That's a drive, that was another driver who was running very uh, eh in the points. break for her by the way if you're hearing me munching on chips which is uh Lay's and uh Santis I do apologize Emily Green now the leader 27 is not on the lead lap that's Hannah Percy she came to pit road not sure what the issue was as there's her teammate Nallie Fisher the 37's teammate which is Emily Green Nally Fisher Nellie Fisher needed a... Nellie Fisher finished 14th, so she is now trying to ch chase down her teammate in the 37. The only reason I haven't resumed the Oreo Cup Series is because I have... I'm having space issues. So, yeah, that is probably why Oreo Cup Series has not resumed. And I haven't done Foster's lately. Foster's, I'm going to resume it soon. But that's going to be space issues as Beatrice Campos is sitting on pit road. Not sure what's wrong with her. It looks like she did come to pit road. 41 laps. These drivers can make it on fuel as far as 41 laps is concerned. Of course, it's 66, but that's on the GNS physics. This is not like on the cup physics. Find out where Ingrid Pollard is. She is a driver that came in this race third in the points. She's running in 21st. What about fourth in points? Lisa Evans, if I can find her. There she is. 23rd. Ugh. We already know Wanda McBride is out of the race. What about June Bailey? June Bailey is currently 16th. She's in the middle of a three-wide hornet's nest. As the 80 has taken the race lead, that is uh, Nally Fisher. Well, she was in the lead until April Winters took it back. Now she's in the lead, and around goes the one. But she saved it. Emily Green nearly spun Liliana Batza. Boy, that would have been a big wreck. We're down to five to go here tonight at Arizona.
Don't know if they'll catch Dakota Lee or not. Only going to have 30 cars on the lead lap, 32 in the race. And eight drivers already out of this race. You'll probably already see your um, point standings in the Discord. Then we head to Auto Club Speedway next up on the calendar. Of course, we have to find out who wins this race first. Two to go. Liliana Bata nearly spun out by the 37. Now she's going to take the lead. So we're coming to the white flag. Liliana finished in the 18th position last time out. Already down the back straightaway, entering turn three. Hannah Percy not going to be an issue. But off turn four, Liliana Bata will win tonight here at Arizona Speedway. It is her first career TMS Array Diva Series victory. Standings are now about to be official. Liliana about to the winner, Natasha Fisher. So close. We'll have to settle for second place. April Winters third, Ariel Moore fourth, Hallie Parker, our pole sitter in fifth. And it's Chrissy House, Kaylee Rankin, Amy Pruitt, Trinity Lee. Looks like she will probably take the points lead heading into next week, depending where everybody else finished. And Jesse Art will complete the top 10. Look on down through the remainder of the finishing results. Only 30 cars on the lead lap. Hannah Percy was the last of them on the lead lap. Emily Green, Beatrice Campos were one or more laps down. And then eight drivers did not finish the race. Tatiana Guerra, Courtney Lynn, Harley Percy, Sydney Ball, uh, Clara Olivia, Olivera, Haley Percy, Annie James, and Wanda McBride. So that's a tough break for them. And I can tell you the points are definitely going to be shaken up after tonight's race heading into next week at Arizona. You'll see that race at 3 o'clock Eastern Standard Time next week. Hope you will tune in for that. Thank you all for joining us for tonight's race. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give this video a like. Subscribe to become part of the PCS Ray Crew today. We've shown your full finish results. You'll see your point standings in the Discord heading into next week at California Speedway. We're going to go 3, 4, and sometimes 5 wide. That could be a little bit interesting. So... We'll see you guys next time. Until then, I've been Native Ola signing off. Good night from Arizona Speedway. As you've been watching a production of the TMS Array, the best motorsports racing since 2023, and another broadcast courtesy of PCS Array TV, the best in a racing since 2017. Good night from Arizona Speedway.